Okay, in this video, we are really integrating the uh, uh, headphone jack with the uh, uh, with the remote control. Uh, this is a standard remote control that I that he had, and um, the uh, circuitry is pretty basic as the uh, as any other remote control. Uh, only uh, only thing what I've done is uh, to the power supply, I've attached an external power source so that I could externally power it. And uh, uh, here we have the. Uh, uh, here we have the uh, USB sound card connected to the computer, which is uh, from which I'm taking the mic input, and this it's just hanging here. Uh, the principle is I want to use this as some sort of an antenna to pick up the uh, radio signal that will be transmitted through this uh, wire. And uh, the best part about this is it will be in the audible range until uh, over a certain distance, and after which. You will still be able to get the signal, but again, you won't be able to hear it. So we'll do a first. We'll do a demonstration as to how uh, how it is, how the sound varies in the audible range, and we'll show you the uh, uh, FFT variation, and then we will move on to what happens when when you move across the distance. Hmm. Um. Ah. Okay. So um, uh, these are two things. This is to move. Uh, this is to move ahead, and this turn left and right on the uh, for a car. But uh, uh, look at the waveform as as I try to do this, and you'll be also able to hear the how the variation is. This is to move. This is when the car has to move front. Notice the variation in the waveform as I do this. It's like a pulse with modulation, uh, pulse with modulation of the signal that allows to, allows it to change. Now, what happens when when you do this is this is to turn right and this is to turn left. You can see when I when when you want to turn right, you can see that the pul uh, wave actually the uh, the wave velocity is actually pretty pretty less, and then but when I want to turn to the left, the wave velocity is pretty high, and that is the uh, this will this will be the uh, wave that will be obtained on the receiver end uh, if there is this there were a car instead of a microphone, and there is also this option of pressing two things at once. Notice the speed of the wave. <clears throat> this is this is down and left and down and right. Oh, that thing slow down really fast. So uh, this happens. This audible range uh, actually happens only at a particular certain distances, like very limited distances. But then, uh, if you go away from it, also um, away from it. If you go away from it, also you can see that uh, the uh, what I'm receiving is uh, what, what I'm receiving is the uh, like when I press down, I'm receiving it around 2,000, 1,500 hertz, which was what we saw earlier also. But then you're not able to get an audible feedback of it. So so yeah, so that's in in interfacing the. Uh, headphone jack with the uh, remote control, like quadcopters or remote control cars. Okay, so that's uh, incorporating the headphone jack with the uh, remote control. And this has a lot of applications, like for instance, if you want to control uh, quadcopters or if you want to control cars from your mobile phone and uh, like give inputs or take inputs, uh, so that could be done. So.